Oh yeah, guys, here we go. This will be another fun one. Did you all see that uh, video where I dropped the tanks on the cement? That was fun. I enjoyed that. I never done that before. Hold the tank four feet off the cement floor and drop it. Uh, Alan Pierce Tech Tips. Anyway, so here's another fun one. You know, I get divers saying, I'm out of air. I ran out of air the other day. Oh, I was scared. If it wasn't for my buddy who was only 150 feet away, <laughs> and on it goes. I hear the stories all the time. It's wonderful. So you saw the title of this video. I'm out of air. Am I going to die? The question is yes. No, no, I'm just kidding. No, you're not going to die. You're out of air. But if you're a scuba diver, you're pretty fortunate. If you're out of air while scuba diving, you have options. You know, you may not die. If you're walking down the street and run out of air, it's a different story. I have no solution for that. Watch. Here's what we're going to do. We have a tank here, and there's only, gosh, Kevin, that red part there is 500. And so I'm down about 200, can you see that? 200 PSI in this tank behind me. I have a second stage here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out of air. Watch what happens. Okay, here we go. So, so at the moment, anyway, it's easy breathing. This is the way it always is. Let's see what happens. I don't know if this is going to take 10 seconds or 50 seconds. We'll see. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at the fish. So what's happening right now, what I'm feeling now is for the first half a second of the breath, it's normal. And then it gets harder. It's like drinking a McDonald's milkshake. It's getting harder to breathe. Harder to breathe. Hard to breathe. Going cross-eyed. Okay, Kevin, this is silly. I'm out of air. That's it. I'm out of there. How long did that take, Kev? Got to be a minute. A minute. Now, that was almost a minute from the time I first noticed, because I'm stupid, right? I didn't notice that the needle is in the red. That's why they do that, guys, just so you'll know. For people who can't read numbers, the 500, they make them red. <laughs> so if <laughs> your tank is in the red, well, it's simple. It means go up. Yeah. Uh, but if you, and you go lower and lower and lower and lower. And finally, eventually, when it gets down to about 100 or 200 PSI in the tank, you'll find that you get a, a breath, and then it gets harder at the end. And it gets harder halfway through. And then it gets a harder a quarter of the way through. And then as soon as you breathe, you'll notice it's harder. Watch. And that's the last breath I'm going to get. You still get a full breath. It's just it takes effort to bring it in. And that's at the point you have to be at the surface at that point. There's no other option. Well, there might be an option if your buddy is right beside you. But if the buddy is right beside you, why were you doing this in the first place anyway? There you go. Just to answer a question. What happens when you run out of air? Okay, now you know. You probably have a minute, maybe 30 seconds of breath left, certainly 15 seconds. You can do a lot in 15 seconds. So don't let it panic you. Don't let it freak you out. Don't let it happen. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips, talk to you soon.